And there it is, the SpaceX rocket ship on the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, <laughs> it's still there. It's going to be there for a few more days, in fact, after today's historic launch had to be scrubbed. Well, it was nearly all set for liftoff until about 20 minutes before takeoff because of bad weather. Our own Ian Margul was monitoring everything happening there at Port Canaveral. He joins us live now to tell us what we can expect when we try, try again there, Ian. <laughs> We were crossing our fingers, crossing our toes, just hoping the weather held out. But as you can see, or only kind of see at this point, it really is still there because of bad weather. And you can actually see how cloudy it is out in the distance. But you can really just think of today as another dress rehearsal for the crew. Launch board has started. And with that, the plan to launch the Crew Dragon spacecraft was delayed because of weather. We now do not expect to clear in time to allow for a launch today. Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin got about as close as they could to liftoff Wednesday without actually leaving the Earth. The two veteran astronauts suited up, said goodbye to their families, and hopped into a Tesla Model X that took them to the launch pad before getting fully loaded into their seats and ready to head to the International Space Station. They would have been the first manned mission to leave from U.S. soil in nearly a decade, a team effort between SpaceX and NASA. Launch, launch the clock's going to run out. They were all set. Everything had been checked. They were a go for takeoff. But then the one factor no one can control took over. Mother Nature decided to create some nasty weather and forced the experts to scrub the launch. And NASA just tweeted out that they are looking at a 50% chance of favorable weather for Saturday's launch, which is scheduled for 322 on Saturday. So the obvious question is what happens if they have bad weather again on Saturday? There is another launch window on Sunday, the very following day. And it really is important that they hit these launch windows. If they miss them, it could screw up their entire trip they are launching and meeting the International Space Station, so they are doing a lot of intense calculations, planning exactly how they are going to get up into space and meet up with the ISS. And missing that by just a couple of minutes could mess up the entire mission. Well, the rendezvous is going to have Canaveral, to be. I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News. That's right. And Ian, I thought it yes, interesting, exactly. too, that with the president and vice president, so many people looking on all of America, that they didn't feel the pressure to say, let's go ahead and do this, yeah. you know? I'm sure they felt some pressure, but look, it is all about safety <laughs> first, right? They were saying, actually, they were going to ask for two more minutes just to check the weather, see it, check the weather, see if it was going to clear up. But they knew that that two minutes wasn't really going to do anything. And actually, the head of the mission, he was saying if they had just 10 more minutes mm. on that window, on that launch window, they may have been able to pull it off. But it was an instantaneous window at 433. They couldn't go any later, so unfortunately had to scrub. Hopefully Saturday we get to see some history made. All right, we'll wait for Saturday then.